Hello everyone. In this video, I show you how and why I build myself a platinum coil. I do not have a lot of experience building coils, so please excuse some of my mistakes. I started with 0.25 mm or 30 gauge, 96% platinum wire. My plan was to make a core with two twisted 0.25 mm platinum wires and winding a third wire around that core. After completing this task, I used a 3 mm or 1/8 inch mandrel to make the coil. It ended up with four windings, because I only had two pieces of 500 mm wire. But for a test it was good enough. On the left you can see a stainless steel coil made with the same method. The appearance before firing is very similar. Firing the platinum coil for the first time reveals an uneven heating, as you can see. It's probably my fault, but after some intensive firing and two days of vaping, it started to look very good. On the initial firing I did not reach high enough temperatures, as you can see, so the platinum got a little grey. After two days of testing and setting the right amount of watts, it was time to change the cotton. 65 watts was way too much for my cotton or wicking skills, so it greased up very quickly and I got dry hits. I had no problems after setting the vape to 65 watts for the first second of a hit and dropping down to 40 watts. Platinum can withstand very high temperatures and is not very reactive with other elements. These two properties are very useful for a vape coil as you will see. Anyway. After removing the old cotton and rinsing a bit of distilled water over the coil, it was time to show off the properties I mentioned. This time around, I made the coil way hotter. And as you can see, it removed everything from the coil. It looks brand new again. Platinum is a catalyst for certain hydrocarbons when heated enough, which makes it perfect for a very long lasting coil. Thank you for watching and maybe until next time.